According to ancient Greeks, the rise of the constellation Aries marks the beginning of the year. The constellation also marks the beginning of the springtime and hence bringing the prosperity to the land. It is believed that the constellation depicts the face of Crius, the titan god of constellations. Just as in the constellation, Crius is believed to have ram horns on his helmet. Some believe that Crius doesn't wear a helmet, but the horns rest on his head itself. Crius was the titan responsible to mark the beginning and end of each season by revealing the relevant constellation. He can also be viewed as a guide in the night sky because he guide those who are lost using the northern star. It is said that every constellation in the sky bear a significant meaning with knowledge of what to expect. If one has the right knowledge to read it, much predictions could be revealed from their hidden meanings. Other than his role with the constellations, Crius was considered to guard one of the four pillars that hold the heavens and the earth apart, along with his brothers. He guards the pillar of south and is considered to be the lord of the south. He is the titan son of Uranus and Gaia and shared the attractive looks just as his other titan siblings. In the act of dethroning Uranus, Crius helped to hold his father firmly for Cronus to cut off his testicles. Little is known about Crius in the Titanomachy. But obviously he sided with his brother Cronus and met the same fate he does. He was imprisoned in Tartarus along with his other Titan siblings for battling against the Olympian gods. But later, it is believed Zeus showed mercy on the Titans and released them. But no information is found of their presence after their release. Crius took Eurybia to be his wife. Together they gave birth to a prominent line of Greek gods and heroes. Perses, Astraios and Pallas being the first generation. Just as of other Titan gods, not many legends and information are found on Crius. It seems as their legends were shadowed and lost in history from the fame of Olympian reign. It is from his children that we can at least see a glimpse of his capabilities. Astraios was the god of stars and astrology. So it could be seen that after the Titanomachy, Astraios took over his father's role. The other two children were known for their violence and destructive nature. Pallas was the titan god of warcraft and Perses was the titan god of destruction. So it could be assumed that these titan gods inherited their aggressive nature from their father and it would make Crius an aggressive figure. But there is very much that is unknown of the Titan. Since much focus is given to the Olympian gods, the gods before them were long forgotten, even though they are the one who laid the foundation for the existence. It would actually be much better if the history manages to keep track of them, so it would give birth to much interesting legends on how the universe first began. What do you guys think of this story? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you enjoyed the video and want to see more videos like this. I hope to see you again with another story to tell.